Does Atlanta United have its first manager player public feud? Find out this and more now. Welcome to Five Strike Five, where we tell you everything we think you should know, even if you don't know you need to know it, we're gonna tell you anyway. I'm Tanner McLeod from Atlanta United Fan TV. Let's get into it. We start things off with Atlanta United Loney John Gallagher. He's currently plying his trade with Scottish side Aberdeen and recently won man of the match and played 90 minutes in the Europa League qualifier this past week. So far, Gallagher has been settling in nicely with his new club and hopefully he can continue his great performances and come back to Atlanta United an even better player. Atlanta United now finally has an opponent for their Campiones Cup match on August the 14th. The Five Stripes will play host to Club America, who defeated Tigres in the Campeón de Campeones Cup, or such or the other, this past weekend to determine who would face off with the Five Stripes. Another Mexican team coming to the bins, beat the last one. I really don't know what else to say about this trophy because it's another one of those things that we've created that I think Atlanta United fans would rather not have right now because of all the fixture congestion. But hey, I've got my ticket, so I guess I'll be seeing this match anyway. Another road game and another defeat for Atlanta United. The Five Stripes fell 2-1 on Sunday afternoon to the Seattle Sounders, marking their fifth straight defeat in a row on the road. Things have not really improved much in recent games either, with the defending still being shambolic. Both goals that Atlanta United conceded were the result of the Five Stripes giving the ball away in their own defensive third. Although, for the first one, Rui Diaz kind of did an incredible thing and he kicked it over Miles Robinson's head, and I'm not gonna take anything away from the finish, but Gressel, who did not have his best game in red, black, and gold, for Atlanta United gave the ball away at the top of the 18. The second goal came from LGP doing well, whatever it was he was doing, but it wasn't good. And just like that, Atlanta United falls again. So far, Atlanta United already has more defeats this season than they had all of last season, and it's only mid-July. I think that would be okay if the attack was more exciting and there was more things happening, but right now the team seems exhausted, confused, uninspired, and completely out of ideas going forward. I think it leaves a lot of fans questioning what exactly is going on right now, because it is not what we've come to expect from this team. Atlanta United gets right back to business this Wednesday when they host the Houston Dynamo. This match is gonna be a little bit different because the front office is pushing for Atlanta United fans to white out Houston. By doing so, they mean wear anything white, your King Peach jersey if you have one. This is a very common thing that happens in college football, most notably Penn State, who routinely gets 100,000 people to wear white when they're playing their biggest opponents at home. Should make for an interesting atmosphere, although it's a bit weird because Houston's colors are orange and white, so maybe it'll make them feel more comfortable. I don't know. Either way, it's a big match that Atlanta United has to win, so wear your white, and hopefully we can white out Houston. I think it's safe to say that things have not gone according to plan so far for PT Martinez in Atlanta. He spoke with Fox Sports Argentina on the radio on Thursday, and there were some comments that were not so great about his relationship with Frank DeBoer. Now, since then, he has had a meeting with Vice President Carlos Bocanegra to discuss his comments and his concerns and whatever issues he may have with the current coaching staff. He also spoke to the Atlanta media on Friday, talking about how when he signed with the club, Tata Martino was still the manager and he enjoyed the style that they played. He also said that he knew not much about Frank DeBoer or his system, but that it was his job to adapt as well. Now, I think it's pretty easy to understand that neither side has really handled themselves great here. Frank DeBoer made some comments about PT being a danger to the team after the Montreal game, and PT didn't take so well to those comments. He felt that they should have been said behind closed doors. Both are very passionate individuals, despite Frank DeBoer's very stoic exterior. Honestly, I think that it's one of those situations where you have a big name player who's struggling, you have a big name coach who's also struggling it's kind of natural to see them butting heads. I think the best thing that both can do though is get their head down, work hard, and figure out a way to coexist because we need the best out of both of them if we wanna continue moving forward. And now we get into our question of the day, which is this. Are you excited by Campione's Cup? And is it a trophy that you really feel is important for Atlanta United? Get down in the comments below and let us know what you guys have to say. So that'll do it for Five Strike Five today. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe because it really helps us out a lot. I'm Tanner McLeod. We'll catch you in the next one. Hey.